Welcome to your multi clipboard. The yellow area is where clips first appear whenever you cut or copy. The white area is where you store the clips you want to keep permanently. And the small window in the corner of your screen is the clip preview window. Let's capture a few clips now. Right click and copy. And let's copy some of those pictures. The clips show up in the yellow area. As you move the mouse over the clips, you see a preview in the viewer. The viewer also shows the date, time and source of the clip here. Pasting black clips couldn't be easier. This is Microsoft Word. Restore Spartan. To paste back the text clip, just click on it. Note that the graphic clips have four buttons. Button 1 pastes a bitmap at full size. Button 2 pastes a bitmap at reduced size, which you choose in Options General. Button 3 pastes an HTML format at full size. And button 4 pastes an HTML format at reduced size. As you continue to capture clips, the yellow area fills up. When it's full, the earliest drops off, leaving the latest 25. Clips which have scrolled out of the yellow area can still be retrieved from the clipboard history sheet, and deleted clips can be retrieved from the deleted clip sheet, Spartan's recycle bin. Some clips you will wish to keep for future use. To keep clips permanently, drag them to the white area. You can drag them one at a time, or you can select several and drag them together. To give a heading to a group of clips, right-click in an empty slot and select New Text Clip. Type your heading in the Clip Name field. Select a colour and save. To give a new name to a clip, right-click on it and select Rename Highlight. Let's take a first look at options. Spartan has four sets of options. General, affecting the entire program. This view are options which can be set separately for each view. Options for encryption and options for OneDrive if you're using it. Let's look at options general. Your clipboard is a program you will use often but for short periods, so you will need shortcuts to it. You can have a fast access button which appears whenever you touch the edge of the screen with the mouse. Let's use the top edge. You can also activate Spartan with the hotkey. I'm going to use F9. Choose whether you want Spartan to start minimized or on screen. And whether you want it to show in the taskbar when minimized. If you choose No, you save space there. If you choose Yes, you can also activate Spartan with the Alt Tab keys. You can also elect to have a reminder when the 25 yellow slots are full. All dialogues can be closed in one of three ways. By the Close button, by the Escape key, or by clicking in the Help area. Moving, Copying and Sorting as well as dragging clips from the yellow area to the white area, you can also drag them around on the white area. You can move clips or you can copy clips. 
drag with the left mouse button to move, drag with the right mouse button to copy. To arrange a group of clips in alphabetical order, select them, right click and click sort A to Z. There are two ways to select clips. If there is an empty slot adjacent to the clips, press the left mouse button down over the empty slot and move the mouse over the clips you wish to select. If there is no adjacent empty slot, place the mouse over the first clip to select, hold down the shift key and move the mouse over the clips you wish to select. Whichever method you use, Moving the mouse over unselected clips selects them, and moving the mouse over selected clips deselects them. There are several options for how the preview window is positioned, and you can set them separately for each view. And should you wish to access the preview window, say to copy some text from it, you can do so by holding down the control key while you move the mouse to it. Eventually, you will build up a complete collection of all your useful information. Not only pasteable text and pictures, but websites, email addresses, notes, contact and logon information. All arranged just the way you want it for easy access.